lights, camera, action. Game day for Dave Van Horn and the Diamond Hogs. Let's get it started. Bomb Stadium, Hogs versus Western Illinois Bulldogs. Bottom one, two off, Eric Fisher. Little buddy comes through, seeing our single to right. Matt Vincent, Jacob Morris, come on down. Hogs get two runs. Two to nothing after one advantage. Diamond Hogs, top two now. Ryan standing at the dish. Travis Stafford, you ain't got to go home, bro. But you got to get out of here. Standing four strong, four Ks, one earned run, and a partridge in a pear tree. Bottom five, remember that Eric Fisher guy? <laughs> this time, little buddy goes yard. Two for four on the day, three ribbies, PlayStation numbers. Hogs up three nil. We'll stay in the fifth. Jacob Mahan, CNI single, Brian Anderson. Why don't you do your civic duty and come on down? <laughs> Let's take a look at the score so far. Game's still going on, as I said. Hogs in control, 9-1 in the eighth. Game two set for tomorrow. There it is. First pitch, high noon. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of looking forward to the Arkansas-Missouri matchup tomorrow. Overcast skies, not too far from our hotel. Well, he got the start tonight. Hogs got sloppy after that. Little tip drill coming up here. B.J. Young will wind up with a rock. He'll give it to Madrakis Wade, who goes all three licious from the baseline. Wade at 17. Here's how we top this ice cream, Pam. A little cool win. 61-79 win for the Hogs. Uh, they put the demons on ice. Mike Anderson can't stop talking on line one. Well, I thought it was a, a game of... Uh... Top 25 action, number four, Louisville, taking on Rick Pitino. Oh, uh, Louisville and Rick Pitino taking on the unranked Kentucky team. Cardinals going up early. Russ Smith, he's got a 2-11 in progress. He'll get the bucket there. They'll go up 17. Back would come the Cats, though. Hey, this team is young. They got a lot of heart. Kyle Walter stand outside the three. Drip. He had 15. Later in the half, Ryan Harrell with a loose change. He had 17. Cats cut the lead to two. Moments later, lights, camera, action. Archie, step back. Give me threes, please. He finished with team out 22. In the end, the Cardinals come back, make the play. Here's the final. Louisville holds on to get the win. Kentucky now 8-4 on the year. They'll take on Eastern Michigan next. Well, it's been a rough coaching journey for Corliss Williamson so far. Uh, the former NBA player has taken the bumps and bruises, managed to learn to get better as a coach. He should because he definitely had some of the best and most experienced coaches, including Mike Anderson and Nolan Richardson. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, enthusiasm is the mother of effort, and without it, Nothing great was ever achieved. Steve Shields took his young, energetic, and enthusiastic Trojans to the Convocation Center tonight. The pride of Hall High School, Rakeem Dickerson with a kiss off the glass. Two of his seven points tonight. Boy, that youth and, and, and exuberance just couldn't handle ASU in the first half. 45-29, ASU at recess. Second half, bang, bang, bang for Trey Finn. Pride of Parkview High School Trojans. Well, they had an off night, but at times they show flashes. Michael Javes, one of two players with 11 points. For Shields and the Trojans, this game was not without effort. They will leave without a victory. ASU takes game one. They now sit alone atop the SCS or Sunbelt West Division. These two teams will play again on March 2nd. Earlier, we heard Corliss Williamson say the Islanders of Corpus Christi would have revenge on the brain tonight at the Ferris Center, and that's exactly what they got. LaQuentin Miles... 20 points, but it wasn't enough. It's UCA falls. The Bears will host Sam Houston State now on Saturday. Now to baseball. Tomorrow, the much-anticipated start of the Diamond Hog season. It's the Hogs in Western Illinois. First pitch set for 3 o'clock. Dave Van Horn says the Hogs have scrimmaged each other enough. Fans are just as ready. They're expecting a packed house. It's game one, and Van Horn is turning in his coach's hat for his weatherman cap, if you will. 